Hello and welcome to our third edition of Czech and Slovak Direct Showcase. This year, we are presenting more than 26 awesome updates on all the latest games made in Czechia and Slovakia. We have an exciting showcase of world premieres, developer commentary, and never-before-seen gameplay. So take a seat, grab a drink, and get ready. I'm your host, Chris Neosi, and the Czech and Slovak Direct Showcase 2023 starts right now. World Premiere. It's been four years since Karel Mateka, the solo developer behind the BS game, started this project. We are super excited that the game is finally out! You can expect ever-changing gameplay, pleasant platformer challenges, and a story full of twists. All wrapped in cute pixel art with a ton of polished animations. Enjoy the feeling of being a real speedrunner in perfectly orchestrated stages. Find the hidden rhythm and compete with others to get the best score. Or pick an accessible mode and enjoy the story. The highly polished controls make the game accessible to all players. Be ready for more than 50 stages and intense boss fights. Upgrade your abilities, discover even faster ways to beat stages, and get a better score than others. Every millisecond counts. The game's creator, Karel Mateka, who drew the first sprite for the Bzz game precisely four years ago, says, Maybe it's my pixel art passion, the magic of old games boosting players' imagination, or I feel comfortable in the past. All that led me to try making games the old way again, to see if miraculous 80s magic could still work, and if I could share my first gaming experience and feelings with today's players. Bzz is a trip into the past, with pixel art pumped up to the max and modern gameplay twists. to wait to jump through time any longer, the pixel art magic is available now on Steam. Congratulations to Corel on the new release! If you want to quickly find the Steam page for each game in today's show, we prepare these friendly QR codes, which will appear on the screen. You can scan them and quickly add the game to your wish list, follow for more information, or even buy it. Now let's get serious. I wonder how many of you will try to scan this unsettling next title. Really, I dare you to try it.
Yeah, that looks scary and exciting at the same time. The Gray Man is available now on Steam. It's a surreal first-person point-and-click adventure where you are a serial killer who confronts the player as the murderer's conscience with interpretations of his internal conflict. <laughs> All right, that's it for the creepy part of the show. Let's lighten the mood a little. Buckle up, this'll be a ride. Coming soon. Last year, we were honored to introduce Extremely Aggressive Pillows, the game Bulansi, into Steam Early Access. In September, developers stuffed more feathers into the code and released the game as free to play. Finally, there's no excuse to miss jumping into massive pillow fights with friends. You could smash them into oblivion, virtually, of course. And if that sounds too quirky for you, you may love this creative prehistoric survival game. Developer Update.
Hello, it's Shane again, the lead developer for Polylithic, the unique low-poly styled atmospheric survival game featuring tribe building and exploration in the Paleolithic and Neolithic eras. I'm thrilled to announce that at long last, we're releasing early access on Steam. We've been gathering your responses from the forums and social media, watching your playthroughs, and have been hard at work using your feedback to improve every aspect of the game. Now you can play the whole first Hunters and Gatherers era, experiencing new story quests with four unlockable technology tiers. Assemble the mysterious monument with the help of your fellow tribe members with improved AI and enjoy the almighty new ability to save your progress. That might come in especially handy when you encounter our infamous bison or predators at night. Just remember, keeping the fire lit is key to survival. Achievements were also added for our completionist friends. We plan to expand on the features already present and add more large features as we shift focus to the second era. We've already started working on this so that when your tribe finally settles down and starts building a proper village, you can unlock the power of farming and animal husbandry. We also have great ideas on how we can improve our already great weather system by implementing seasons and other effects to bring this already vibrant world to life, so stay tuned. You can also check our development plan or read our blog, and feel free to leave any feedback you might think of on our Discord or on Steam. Thank you all for supporting Polylithic. We really appreciate it, and let's continue building this dream prehistoric game together. Polylithic looks unlike anything you've seen before and is waiting for you to explore its richness and discover its secrets. Start with finding the disease's roots that plague your people and end with your tribe's history. The game is available now on Early Access on Steam. Well, let's take a look at another... Oh, no, not this again. Someone stole my script, guys. Uh, it's fine. I, I know what's going on. This is, in fact, a very sophisticated bridge to the introduction of our next game, Heistgeist. Gotcha! World Premiere. The Venice job was a bust. It's over. Nothing tell me, Shay Shell. We hired you to do a job, Alexandra. The prototype. You have 30 days. Karel, hey. I could really use your help right now. Just like old times. So, what do you need? We're after two particular containers, stored inside the castle vault. So, um, what's the angle? Get in, get the merchandise, get out. Piece of cake. A well-constructed plan. Survival of more than half of the team, highly probable. Alexandra! Heard <laughs> <laughs> your back in town! Somehow forgot to mention there are freaking bounty hunters after you. Shit, they're on to you. The entire grid is on high alert. Get out of there, both of you. So what kind of treasure is locked up inside anyway? The one that started this whole mess. Hello everyone, thanks a lot for having us on this beautiful Czech and Slovak Games Week Showcase. I'm Petka from Ashborn Games and I would like to show you our trailer for our upcoming title Last Train Home. The first anniversary of our independent Czechoslovakia. A state we helped to win. We're experiencing it here, thousands of kilometers away. We make sure the locomotive's in good order. One maintains our weapons. Another mends uniforms and the food. Well, we have to eat. But perhaps the most important among us are those brothers and sisters caring for our wounded. In conflict, we must also show our other side, the military one. Our cook goes into battle as a machine gunner. Our engine driver becomes a grenadier. 
and Stoker must take a rifleman. Our engineer scouts the line ahead. Let's see what's there. And the ones who usually keep their professions on the train or battlefield are our doctors. Some excel in battle. Others are just happy to survive. But each of our brothers and sisters are indispensable on our journey. Everyone has their own personality, their own strengths, weaknesses, and these can clash from time to time. But who will survive? Who will make it home? Every legionary faces their own fate. Caught in a brutal civil war between Russia's red and white armies, your unit must remain in fighting shape, managing what little resources you have and maintaining morale at all costs. You aim to guide Czechoslovak soldiers back home on board an armored train. Path ahead is dangerous. The game is coming out later this month, and you can check out the Steam page and play the demo for Last Train Home already. So, that was today's entries for the First World War, but of course, we have something in store for history lovers of the second one. Soon. Forgotten but Unbroken is a tactical turn-based game inspired by actual characters and events of World War II. Developed by an independent studio, Centurion Developments from Nitra Slovakia. Build, upgrade, and manage your base. Recruit new comrades and train them in six unique classes. Meet and fight alongside the real heroes of World War II, or face the most feared elite fighters of the Third Reich. Use special perks in your character's skills to achieve victory on every mission. Take advantage of every object during your operation, but be careful because your opponent will try that too. Enjoy the freedom of using your action points, whatever and however you like. Do well and impress your allies with your strategies and actions. They'll help you by spending money, supplies and resources. They may even send you some of their heroes to fight alongside your men for a limited time. Make tough decisions and enjoy the victories and spoils of war with unique gameplay mechanics. Follow the steps of our main hero as he fights his way to find justice. Of course, remember to treat your men with some rest when the time is right. Suppose you're ready to lead the resistance against the Axis forces and help liberate Europe. In that case, you can try Forgotten But Unbroken. The whole game is coming in March next year, but you can download the demo from the game Steam page today. Next up, a game very close to my heart. Developer Update Max, what happened to you? When I was three years old, I developed a strange disease. My whole body hurts, while a strange energy flows in my hands, and I don't know what to do with it. And when everything accumulates in me... It hurts? I end up destroying everything I care about. Hi, this is Philip, producer of the game Macho, and I have some news for you. Last time, we showed the deep dive on gameplay. Now I would like to showcase to you some of the features. After some internal testing, in the last half of the year, we focused on optimization. We moved project to Unreal Engine 5 and now the whole game benefits from the Nanite technology, which means better FPS, smoother gameplay and more fantastic visual effects. Our whole team is building incredible levels full of adventure and not all of them are based on fights with enemies. We built deeper underground temple structures and new beautiful areas. Although I know this is still a tiny glimpse of what is coming, be assured that we are working hard on the game and we are moving as fast as possible to finish it. Until it's ready, you can check out our story trailer, gameplay trailer, and of course, if you like what you see, wishlist our game on Steam right now. You're our only hope of finding the general. There they are. What do they want from me? This 
mission could be my first and last ticket to see the world. Because if I have to actually stop this invasion, I don't know if I can survive this. We'll figure it out. Together. Hi, I'm Dram, creator of Silica, a multiplayer crossover between RTS and FPS, where you get to play as both commander from above or boots on the ground infantry, experiencing the action firsthand. You can play as either of the two human factions, as well as the aliens native to the planet of Bolterus. The latest major update introduces the highly anticipated air units, allowing players to provide air support to their comrades on the ground. Let's have a look at the trailer, comprised of footage recorded from within the game. This is a fascinating concept. The crossover of FPS and RTS genres with up to three different factions battle for control over the planet? Sign me up! Silica is in early access and available now. But if you're not in the mood to hunt down territorial aliens, you may give a chance to an older title, which got over the last year much better. Developer Update. Welcome, travelers, to Ordenia. It's been a while. In the time since last we met, we haven't stopped working. Today, I present you our biggest update yet, update 1.3. Let's jump right in with a review of new features. In the last Ori crew, our original mission was to take a story-driven, choices-heavy classic RPG and mix it with elements from Souls-like games. We have been taking your comments, your feedback, your insights and ideas and weaving them into an improved version of the game. 
We have added a map in patch 1.2 and improving it with more, and most importantly, more clear navigation points. We are also adding more navigation points to first two levels of the game, with more hints and short tutorials on the way, so you can get used to the game work and mechanics more easily. Another big issue for some of you was the save system, which did not allow manual saves. It took a lot of work because the game wasn't originally designed for this feature, but since it was an issue for many players, we decided to make it. Now you can make manual saves or load previous ones at any terminal in a game. Another game mechanic that was not prized by all was the fact that word refresh after every visit to the terminal. That's now been changed. After the second visit of each terminal in the game, you will be prompted to choose if you want to refresh the map with the new enemies and your stats, or if you want just to level up and continue without it. As a new feature, or bonus, we have also added two completely new locations with puzzles. If you solve them both, you will get some pretty cool and also new sci-fi armor. In addition, we have looked at issues you have reported in online code. I can now confirm that we have made huge updates to the online co-op experience. Our engineers made major fixes to the netcode. That means a more stable online multiplayer experience in general, desync problems limited to minimum, missing content for the client has been fixed. Along with the quality of life improvements, such as the fact that players in online co-op are now able to see each other's health bars. So, generally, client player has now much better experience and can play the game with all design features. We also made many improvements to combat. It's now easier to parry and read enemies' counterattacks. Stamina management has also been greatly improved, so it should be easier to play a mage in a single player, for instance. Last but not least, we made significant improvements to some boss fights. Finally, drum roll, please. We have made the game tailored for the Steam Deck console. We really like this piece of great hardware, so we heavily optimized the performance and UX to fit perfectly to this handheld. Those are the big news with the current update 1.3. We have also made many small improvements through the game that you will find in the list below this video. It took a while, but we wanted to bring you the best update possible, and I believe that we have done that. The game is now at its best. If you played the release, waited to buy till now, or are hearing about it for the first time, now is the best time to jump in. Even if you have already played through a few times, there is new stuff for you waiting. Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without your feedback. Hey, this is Rick Lagnesi, head of communications from Edfinger Games. And again, we just wanted to really give you guys a big shout out. Thank you so much for your support, for getting over 500,000 views on Twitter with over 2,000 likes, I, and it's still going. We cannot thank the fans, the press, and creators enough. And we're going to continue to show you more in time. So for now, stay tuned. Please wish list the game. And remember, every move matters.
thank you for coming to this year's exciting Direct Showcase. We're eager to hear your insights. Your input is invaluable. It fuels the evolution of our future showcases, drawing in more visionary developers to this festival of creativity. Fun fact, did you know that the seeds of game development in Czechia and Slovakia were sown on the Czechoslovak SMEP mini computers as early as the 70s and 80s? It's true. Classics like The Secret of Donkey Island and Vlock ignited a spark that blazed into hits like Mafia, The City of Lost Heaven, and Black Mirror, kindling the ambitions of thousands. You may know the recent hits like Beat Saber, Factorio, The Arma Series, or even American Truck Simulator, and that's only a tiny fraction. Well, no wonder Czech and Slovak developers are growing. With a vibrant tapestry of over 200 game studios and a robust cadre of 3,000 plus professional developers, the legacy continues to thrive. Stay with us as we highlight more video games from Czech and Slovak creators shaping the future of gaming. everyone. My name is Pavel and I'm the developer of Imperium's Greek Wars, a historical 4x grand turn-based strategy game focused on ancient Greece and later ancient Rome. It has been three years since we released the vanilla version of the game, but we keep releasing fixes, updates, improvements and expansions. In the vanilla game, we wanted to give space to Philip II of Macedon, who, in our opinion, was underrated in the video gaming world. The first expansion was a small scenario with some experimental mechanics called Imperium's Troy. It was free as a thank you to our players for their amazing support. The second expansion called Imperium's Age of Alexander was a big DLC, almost a new game in fact. It included new mechanics and a new large campaign map. We continued the story of ancient Greece chronologically, starting with the assassination of Philip and then the rise of Macedonia under the control of his son Alexander the Great. The third, even bigger expansion is called Imperium's Rome vs Carthage. And again, it introduced several new mechanics and a huge new campaign map covering most of Europe, Near East and the North Coast of Africa. Here we move to the very turbulent times of the Wars of Diadochi, the heirs of Alexander fighting over the remnants of his former empire. All these DLCs received unblemished praise with 100% scores on Steam. Over the years, we have constantly been improving the game, adding new features, fixing bugs and listening to our community. We still have many plans with Imperiums. Right now, we prepare release of another DLC called Imperiums Rise of Caesar, which should give our players something fresh and different to our previous DLCs. It's made of two consecutive scenarios focused on Caesar's military expeditions in Gaul and the British Isles. It includes additional new mechanics like the weather and seasons, politics in Rome, commanders and many others. Our new DLC is currently being tested and tweaked, but you can add it to your wishlist and claim the release discount. Check out our brand new release trailer. If you like it, you can buy one of our previous DLCs and practice your Imperium skills in the meantime. All DLCs, including the vanilla game, are now on sale with the highest discounts ever, so don't hesitate to buy and relive ancient history like never before. Hope you will like the game and have fun! Imperium's Rise of Caesar The new expansion of Imperium's Greek Wars brings a fresh breeze into the franchise. Two consecutive maps of Gaul and the British Isles invite you to earn eternal glory as Caesar or bury the Roman Aquila at the foot of the Alps forever as one of the Celtic leaders. Caesar and his famous opponents, Vercingetorix and Cassivellaunus, face each other on the battlefield as distinct units with unique traits who can steer the game with dramatic effects. The new mechanics, weather and seasons greatly enhances the tactical dimension of the game, making it a challenge even for the hardcore tactical war gamers. You will have to plan your campaign well to prevent your armies getting stuck in the mud, freezing to death or weakened by the lack of supplies. Citizens become the most limiting factor 
making every soldier important and extremely hard to replace. Caesar pulls the political strings in Rome and so affects events in the further corners of the Republic as well as on the Celtic front. Will the Roman Eagle fly above Gaul, Germania and the British Isles or will it drop from the sky with a Celtic arrow in its heart? Imperiums, Rise of Caesar. Follow the path of a legend. Survive, expand, conquer, and win. This unique combination of turn-based 4X and historical grand strategy with a mythological twist was released in 2020. Since then, developers have been working on new content. You can check out their complete edition with all updates on the Imperium's Greek War Steam page. Ancient Greece is known for its strong belief in various gods. But what could happen when gods get challenged by, I don't know, the machines? World Premiere Hello everybody, we are very excited to show you our exclusive new trailer for Gods Against Machines, our passion project of the past two years that is going to be released early next year. So please check out the demo and let us know what you think. Enjoy. Gods Against Machines is a unique blend of real-time strategy and roguelike god game with an intricate spell system and endless replayability. In the game, you wage war against an invading race of alien machines bent on destroying your home world. Customize your arsenal of spells to your liking and use powerful synergies to unleash epic destruction on your enemies. Choose from dozens of unique spells among the four available gods and prepare to face an increasingly powerful army of machines. Summon massive fire giants to fight for you or block out the sun to starve the machines of energy. More importantly, work with Gaia, mother of nature, to protect the world from alien corruption. Only together will you be able to overcome the alien threat. Eliminate the enemy before they poison your home in this roguelike strategy game. Gods Against Machines is coming out in February of next year, but you can download the demo right now on their Steam page. And now, brace yourself for Calcium Contract, the latest adrenaline rush in the first-person shooter realm. Hey, I'm Igor, and I'm here to show you my quirky first-person shooter called Calcium Contract. Let's have a look! So in the game, you are an agent of the Calcium Order, which is basically an order of Grim Reapers tasked with ending the life of all living creatures when their time comes. That's why your weapons are a bit unusual, like this bone thrower, which is good for crowd control. Or this magical implosion and freeze grenade. Of course, you have all your trusty Scythe as well. The enemies have a lot of variation and some of them have unusual skills. For example, this Clockmaster can manipulate time and synchronize other enemies. So that was a very quick look at Calcium Contract. It's out on Steam now, so check it out and enjoy the show!
In Revive and Prosper, work isn't just for the ordinary, it's for mutants too. Delve into a voxel-based strategy and base-building world where resources abound and efficiency is king. Channel your inner architect with belts and catapults to propel your resources where they need to go. The full game launches in December, but why wait? Test your metal and see if you have what it takes to survive and prosper. The demo awaits on its Steam page. Coming soon. Hey everyone, this is Roman from Alapike Studio bringing you a quick look at the latest Galaxy Highways gameplay. We are very excited that our game launches on February 2024, so get ready and stay tuned. Fight packs of monsters, overcome traps, face the dungeon boss, die and repeat. Become better and win. Hi, I'm David from Amenti Studio Team and I'm gonna talk about the Book of Aru. As you have right now saw in our brief promo teaser, we have just recently released our public demo, marking the achievement of our initial milestone, establishing a strong foundation for enjoyable gameplay. With this foundation in place, we have made the game accessible to the public to hear opinions of the players and to see how they interact with the core base of our game. From this point onwards, we have many exciting plans in the works, but before we dive into these, let's explore what the Book of Aru is all about. The Book of Aru is action roguelite with great emphasis on tactical combat, creative level design and personal development of the player. For combat, we have invented our own streak-based combos with unique finishing attacks underlying the skill of experienced players while at the same time staying open to wide audiences. Combine ranged and melee attacks of light and heavy nature to reach more powerful and rewarding actions. The order of attack used may impact the outcome. With our level design, we pushed exploration and discovery to the foreground as an important gameplay element. We realized that while random procedural level generation, which is typical for roguelites, can be exciting, it often lacks the immersive and engaging feeling of being involved in the fantastical world. So we kept the procedural generation, but we gave it a little bit of order. All the rooms are precisely crafted by hand with attention to detail for environmental storytelling and exciting prep sequences. This way, we achieved dozens of action trap puzzles, always with different solutions. This means action in our game comes not only from combat, but also exploring. Our environment is packed with decisions to make, take on slower but safer way, or choose a riskier path yielding a treasure. Learn the secrets of the dungeon and be the master of your own destiny. And don't forget that on the way you can destroy everything. Going forward, we are dedicated to enriching our current content by including additional enemy characters, weapons, levels, perks and more. We have also initiated a comprehensive UI redesign to match the standards of our 3D environment while ensuring a pleasant, easy to understand experience for our players. Furthermore, we are starting our works on incorporating elements of meta progression to enhance the long-term appeal of the game. And aside of a few other surprises we have in store, we have embarked on the development of a whole new complex system for our game, 
the ability to manipulate time. This system will play a central role in the gameplay, with other features already prepared to be seamlessly complementing it. This outlines both the current and future direction of the Book of Aru. We encourage you to try our game and share your thoughts with us, so you become a part of the development journey. Thanks for watching Direct Showcase. For Amenti Studio, David. Bye. To glimpse this combined world of old meets new, visit the Steam page of the Book of Aru. Up next, we've got something special for the younger crowd. Animated adventure sure to captivate and charm. Coming soon. Happies are a race of little people who are always happy. Their life is ideal and they know no problem. But actually, there would be one. Their planet exploded. All they could do was jump on a spaceship and escape into space. Follow the crew of the Amber Falcon evacuation ship. The central characters are twins Ellie and Joey, teenagers always in trouble. After one not entirely successful hour in a VR simulator, the pair hurl in a crash pod towards an unknown planet, where adventure awaits them, hidden in a giant cave complex. In this hand-painted side-scrolling game, the players control a hot air balloon, collecting crystals to repair a damaged ship and alien fireflies, energies that power the ship and balloon with their fuel. Over 20 levels await the player in various environments such as mysterious caves, ancient tombs full of traps, or snowy hills where the balloon is carried away by wild air currents. The game goes on to offer custom comic physics, balloon customization with thousands of different combinations, and 15 playable characters, each with their own weight affecting the balloon's behavior. The challenge is three levels of difficulty. The highest ones will trouble experienced players, while the lowest ones will be enjoyed by casual players, and it's suited for more minor children, whom the game directly targets. The game is developed in a way that considers children, from the simple controls to the thrilling story of adventure, betrayal, and friendship. The game has no blood, explicit violence, or foul language. Are you hooked? You can wishlist The Happies, Amber Falcon, now on Steam. World Premiere Do you like stealth games and can patiently wait for the right moment for action? What about master plans for incredible heists? What about fairy tales? Shadow 7 is a prequel to the famous tale of Snow White. It presents the seven dwarves as a group of rascals who, instead of having values or noble goals, are united by a master plan. But this partnership will be born very hard. In this game, you'll visit exciting locations such as a blast furnace in whole night operation, a mountain system of dams to drive equipment, or a prison camp in mines. If you're used to tasks such as demolition, assassination, or extraction, but there are also several exciting missions. How about kidnapping the bride during the wedding, or poison the champion of the ram fights? The developers promise a balanced use of characters. Thanks to the unique advantages of the environment, cooperation will be necessary not only during the elimination of the enemies, but also when progressing in the level. Even the most concentrated executioner often can do so with the help of a partner with the necessary skills, so no one is left behind. The whole group should be introduced at the beginning of next year. But in short, it'll be about two burglars, three specialists, a pharmacist, an engineer, a chemist, and two killers. Step into the shoes of the stealthy burglar brothers in the available demo and embark on a daring quest for a new ally from afar in Shadow 7. As our showcase nears its grand finale, prepare to be enthralled by our next reveal, a riveting foray into the immersive world of virtual reality. Coming soon.
Hi, we're Typico Games and we are working on a VR platformer called Next Move. Our game Next Move draws inspiration from classic games or platformers such as Mirror's Edge or Mario or Prince of Persia or Zelda for example. In our game you can run like this or you can jump like this. Or you can shoot like this. Or you can climb like this. Or you can fly like this. Or you can die like this. <laughs> so thank you very much and make sure to buy our game November 30th. Or you can play the demo right now for free. Or yeah, you can, you can follow channel, us on social networks channel, like, like YouTube, YouTube, YouTube Discord, Facebook, Instagram, 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 TikTok. That's free. Everything's Snow free. Level. Jungle the surreal landscapes and fantastic architecture of Next Move invite you to step literally into another world. Here, your movements aren't just actions, but a rebellion against gravity itself. And should you find yourself defying gravity too well, we'll keep you grounded yet, just in time for our show's finale. As we wrap up, we sincerely thank the developers who have shared their worlds with us. And of course, a massive thank you to you, the players, watchers, and supporters for being the core of this event. The Czech and Slovak Direct Showcase aims to highlight those who craft immersive experiences in a bustling gaming industry. We hope today's showcase has unearthed precious finds for all of you. And now, for the sake of our gravity-defining final act, we present to you one last thing. Okay, that's a wrap. Everyone loves a good movie, but have you got what it takes to make one? Let's dive into how it's done. First off, you're going to need a studio. Begin with a small space and work your way up. Make it a comfortable place for the entire team. A hungry director is the last thing you need. Now you're going to need good writers to make a solid script. Next, auditions and negotiations. Make sure to cast the best actors that fit the role. Or even better, craft the ideal actor with our character creator. How do I look? Let's take a look at the next set. So in this scene, our lead actor talks his way out of a sticky situation. I'm, uh, I'm not quite sold on that. Remember, the script is just a starting point. You're in control. If it's not meeting your expectations, go ahead and reshape it to better fit your vision. Now, for the moment of truth. What does the audience think? What a film! We should definitely get moving on a sequel. In the meantime, you can check out our Steam page, or join us on Discord and Reddit for some behind-the-scenes content. I'll see you in the director's chair in early 2024.